Destination space and a top secret satellite now in space after a morning launch from the Space Coast. You saw it live right here on News 13 just a few minutes ago, actually. News 13's Jerry Hume is joining us live once again from Port Canaveral. Jerry, what a beautiful sight to see behind you. Yeah, and the launch and landing went out, went on with uh, out a hitch out here, Ebeth. Uh, quite the sight to see. Uh, we're here at Exploration Tower in Port Canaveral on the seventh floor, so we had uh, quite the view, and we could actually still see the uh, rockets, uh, the, the first stage that uh, was recovered on land out here. Uh, kind of sunnies, but uh, that uh, pointy thing. Well, that is the uh, that is the first stage booster. Now, in case you missed the launch, here it is. Three, two, one, zero. The Falcon 9 rocket lifting off at uh, 7.15 from the Kennedy Space Center. A sensor issue forced a 24-hour scrub yesterday, but everything looked good today. The rocket was carrying the NRO-76 spy satellite on board. NRO stands for the National Reconnaissance Office, which is in charge of our country's spy satellites. It's the first time SpaceX uh, launched a NRO satellite in the past. SpaceX's chief competitor out here, United Launch Alliance, has had, had a monopoly of sorts on NRO launches, but SpaceX is cutting costs, driving down the price of a rocket launch. Now, one way SpaceX drives down the cost of launches, they re-land the rockets. Today, less than 10 minutes after launch, the first stage booster landed at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. What a sight. That booster will now be prepared for another launch. Back on your live, you can see that booster uh, here at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Uh, wow, something uh, you don't see every day. Uh, and if you were out here or along the Space Coast, you, you might have heard a loud bang. That was the sonic boom as the rocket uh, returned to Earth and the atmosphere. Some cruise ships out here, so uh, I'm sure that uh, startled the passengers, but everything uh, looking good for this rocket launch. That's the latest live here in Port Canaveral. Jerry Hume, News WDN 13. WDN Space News, signing off. Jerry, we continue now at 735.